Hey everyone and welcome to this unboxing and review of Rika. This is the sword version of this figure. This is by Union Creative. I did one of Anzu, the sword version of that figure. It's a companion piece. I'll leave a link below of that video if you care to take a look at that. Uh, we'll take a look at the box real quick and turn around. But just to give you a real quick history, this is from Gantz O, a 2016 CGI um, feature film that came out back then. And here, as you can see, this is Anzu on the right and Raika on the left. They've got their suits, kind of um, got that fan service, like the little sexy look right there. She normally, in the movies, in that movie, they actually wear the full suit. And you can see here, um, give you some samples of some of the stuff of Hiroya, the artist and uh, writer of this series. Did some pinups, kind of kind of catered to the fan service, as I mentioned in the, my previous video of Anzu. I'll give you some samples of you can kind of see normally they wear a full suit but there's times in the in the manga that they've got that uh, that little sexiness going on showing a little, little skin you can say but here is the top before we actually open it up so this is about nine inches about nine and four fifths um inches so it's all not close to 10 inches in um tall but yeah the box is uh, it's fairly um straightforward i mean it's a nice design. You can see it's a windowed box. We'll open it up here. So yeah, I've um, as I mentioned in my in my previous video of uh, of Anzu, I just discovered the characters before I even watched the film. I haven't read none of the mangas. I may do later. I'm not really sure, but overall, like I said, it seems like a really fascinating from watching the film. The Gantz O, what this figure is based of, off. It was a definitely unique um, watching watching experience. So, but let's just open this up real quick, and I've given more details um, in my last video of more of the kind of the the premise of the whole story of Gantz. So let's just pull the figure out here, and you can see it's just held together by a plastic clamshell, and it's like Anzu. They also include a nice little pull-out backdrop. Little art there, pretty pretty neat, pretty nice looking um, art there. So let's just move that out of the way and let's open this uh, figure up. So, like the Anzu figure, uh, if it's like similar to the Anzu figure, these are really nicely uh, good quality. I mean, they're very for the price. You just would definitely expect these to be really nice and quality and and sculpt and paint and what have you. But we'll take a quick look at this um, the Rika figure and see how she turned out. Now let's remove this clear tape that's holding these two clamshells together. There's four pieces of clear tape, so let's just slice each one. It's kind of good that they include the tape here, for, so make sure your packaging is secure during transit. So definitely don't want any loose figures in, in transit, so it's always a good thing. So let's just pop these two pieces apart. And we'll take a look at the actual stand, the figure's base, which we'll remove here first. And let's see, I think the, yeah, you can definitely see the, it's black, pretty simple. And definitely love the fact that they actually include metal pegs that hold the figure in place. So that's a really, that's a positive. That's really good that make sure you, those never break. So those always, those, so whenever you get pegs like that, you're always concerned that they may, they may snap. And here is the sword, if I can not drop it. And um, yeah, I think this sword is definitely detailed. As you can see there, the the little blue little paint in there, a little detail in that, in the, in the hilt. And it's all black, which is kind of unique. It's not silver or chrome like a normal sword, so it's pretty cool. And the big difference about this these sword versions is there the, there's another version they actually have the, the guns they carry guns so they normally carry guns and swords so these are like i said this is the sword version as i mentioned earlier and i don't know if i'll pick up the the ones with the guns i think these two are enough i definitely like the the sword i like the pose i like everything about it so let's take all this plastic wrap that has which is another another positive aspect of making sure these figures the way they are done in transport that they put all this extra plastic protection protected from the any scrapes bumps anything there in transit make sure your paint is definitely not scratched or anything so like the other one this one looks 
looks beautiful. I mean, it looks real, really well done. I mean, the paint application, the sculpt, everything about this is looking really good. And there is actually, um, yeah. And we'll just move it around a little bit. And I just noticed on the right wrist, there's another piece of plastic I haven't removed, which I will remove here shortly. But let's just take a quick look at this. This beautiful sculpt. I mean, gosh, this is really nicely looking. I mean, the paint, everything about it, I mean, it's just nicely done. I mean, for the price you pay for these figures, you definitely want to expect these to be in almost in perfect condition. They're almost perfect. I mean, this the sculpt, the paint application, everything about it, is, it looks pretty flawless. And it's definitely a nice looking uh, piece to add to your, your collection. And I'll just, let's just get this, make sure we'll get this in focus. I don't have the I don't I don't normally keep the auto focus so just for the detail I was trying to make sure I get a manual focus on my camera uh, make sure this actually we get all the all the nice little detail in here so you can kind of take a quick look and I'll, I'm gonna actually hold this figure a little longer than I did um, with my figure I think when I did the first one with the Anzu we'll just kind of move it around to give a quick look at it and I'll get we'll get a closer look at her her face and detail on that. And at the very end of the video, stay tuned. Just keep an eye. I'm going to do a 360 um, of this figure. And I'm also going to do at the very, um, the last few minutes of the video, I'm going to put side by side, I'm going to have Anzu and Reka, both figures together, kind of showing how they pretty much complement each other. They make really good companion pieces. So I'm, I'm going to show that aspect near the end of the video. So, And I love this, the their hair, the way they did their hair. I mean, just the, the flowing, each of all the big, big strands of the hair really nicely done that really looks really good I really like how they did that you can kind of see the how the painter did that how they did the black in there and just just a lot of the movement definitely love the the movement and so definitely I, I, I'll take some I'll probably end up taking some photographs of her like a, I've done Anzu which I'll probably will and uh, I think those definitely make some good um, good figure for photography and just, just just let's get a closer look at the face here as I mentioned earlier we're gonna get some detail Take a look at the just the paint application. Look at her eyes, just everything about it. I mean, just the little lips and the little eyebrows, everything about it, just really nice and soft, well done. You almost kind of see there's little pinkish hues in, in the around the the eyes. And there's like I said that even the 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 skin. I mean, just all the little tonal, the, the, all the the did on it, everything about it, really really nicely done. Again, let's take a quick look. At that portrait, just a really nice soft portrait of um, what they did at Rika. I mean, you just get look at it closely, and we get let's get this in focus. You can see that even the eyelashes. I mean, just everything about that portrait is just very nicely done. I mean, even with the hair, the little swoop across her forehead, even the paint, the, the painted, the painted eyebrows. Everything is really well done on this, on even on the portrait and the hair. Everything about it, even the little suit, the sheen, the little shine it does, really nice. And we also got to take a look at her posterior. So a figure like this, you definitely got to, let's take a, a nice close look at that. And even looking at her thighs and where the thighs, her thighs and upper thighs where it meets the bands that are in the lower portion of her suit. You were just kind of showing how tight that is. Another really nice, nice detail on that. And even down in her little, the little silver and blue thingies on her knees, down to the boots, the sculpt, the paint, again, well executed. Even down even to her gloves. Yeah, overall, just getting a really close look at this figure is you know, all its well um, craftsmanship. Very nicely done. So very pleased with the figure overall. Really pleased that, very happy that actually everything uh, was pretty much met my expectations of this figure. Um, even just, yeah, everything about it. I mean, just look at that. The posterior, you can't, you can't go wrong with that, huh? <laughs> And also, we're going to put this figure on the base so we can complete its look. Get it on the base. And again, trying to get it into not too much of a hassle, but it's, you don't have to worry about breaking it since these pegs are metal. And then the last thing we're going to do here, after I get the figure secured on, on her base, we'll actually get the, put the sword in her hands here, which doesn't take too much effort. So... Yeah, definitely, a, definitely an overall very, very nice figure. Definitely would recommend someone to pick this up. And also, if, do uh, consider sharing the video if you know if anyone likes figures like this. And definitely appreciate everyone who subscribes to my channel. And if you haven't, please do that. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And enjoy these few, few minutes, just the last few minutes of the video. 
Full 360 with Az Azu and Raika at the very end. 